With the weather turning warmer, the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources is reminding people who live in areas where there are alligators to be especially cautious around any body of water along the coast. Or if you work near an alligator. That, like we do. <laughs> yes, exactly. like we do. <laughs> News 2's Christina Lobo spoke with a woman who found an alligator right outside her home. My neighbor called me and said, don't move, there's an alligator under your car. It's just one of those things you just don't think will ever happen to you. An uninvited visitor in the driveway of Kristen Leader's home in the brickyard plantation of Mount Pleasant. Oh gosh. So very unexpected to our usual Wednesday morning. Leader, who is a stay at home mom, says her first instinct was to panic for her children's safety. And his tail was kind of coming around through this way. My first thought was what could have happened if they had run out there because their tiny little legs would have been right there. Watching from an upstairs window, Leader and her children waited as Mount Pleasant's animal control attempted to catch and release the gator. She came on her day off and came with another girl and they wrangled it within 15 minutes. Officer Heather Cumbie removed the gator from under the SUV. This is one of several calls she's taken about alligators so far this season. It's a great feeling to go out and be able to educate and help the animals get to a safe place as well as keep the public safe and hopefully the animal doesn't end up back in that situation. Experts say relocating gators from places like driveways or garages can come with difficulties. Adult alligators have a strong homing instinct. They, they establish a home range and they will return to that home range even if relocated and they'll walk overland to do that. Morgan Hart, who is the alligator project leader for the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources, also says more alligators are moving around as people are moving into spaces where those gators are already sure. living. Alligators are often moving from pond to pond or from river to pond. Uh, they tend to try to move overland in a straight line. And sometimes that means they end up in places they shouldn't be, like garages or under cars. I mean, we're definitely checking underneath of our cars from now on. SCDNR says if you see an alligator, do not approach it and never feed the reptile. It is illegal. In Mount Pleasant, Christina Lobo, count on two. We have a million stories about our pet <laughs> alligator who we lovingly call Deuce. 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 Yes, I love him. Part yeah, two. we do. Yes. Channel exactly. two. <laughs> yeah, Deuce has been in our pond out front for many, many years. We haven't seen him recently, I know. which kind of makes us sad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think we were we kind of. It. You know, Deuce just kind of hangs out and sun That's right. and yeah. Just, yeah. You know. We don't go near him, but. No, don't. <laughs> exactly. See him from a distance. But so. like yeah. to see him. But Christine is absolutely yeah. right in her report. It seems as if there have been a lot more sightings, perhaps with more development. Mm -hmm. They come out because right. they've lost their, their way and their space. Sometimes we're in their habitat. So you are exactly right, Rob. So. You're All exactly right. right. Well, good for alligators and humans today. <laughs>